it's a pretty safe bet that if you if we're watching film on uh, Germain Illuminar, uh, that you, you you've gone to the point of no return, uh, which means we may as well keep going. Um, Illuminar is a right guard, and we're watching him in his rookie season, so we're trying to get a sense of him going forward. Uh, he is a very raw prospect, and he was forced into duty here, uh, I think because of injury to Matt Skura uh, early in the season. Um, he started two games, Minnesota and Chicago, and we're going to watch a little bit of each. Um, one of the, I guess, criticisms I would have of him is that in a, in a large sense, he's clueless. There are, there are several plays you'll see where he just doesn't have a, 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 a notion about where to be or how to, to be blocking or who to be blocking. Uh, that's, that makes sense. He's very, very new to the game. And uh, I, th I don't think he started playing football until his junior year in high school, or it could have been even later than that. So he's new, new to the game. Uh, he's physically very, very strong. Um, and there's some stuff to like. I know, you know, in large part, he was criticized for his efforts in these two games. And uh, all of that makes sense to me. He uh, did all the things, you know, you would expect uh, someone that this raw and inexperienced to do. He gave up sacks. Uh, he jumped off sides. Uh, these sorts of things. But we're going to look at the good and the bad. Uh, this first play is a uh, running play, and it exemplifies what I meant when I said he doesn't have a clue. Sometimes. Right? You watch, him, watch him come out of his stance here, and he looks like he's supposed to take on this five, and then he thinks better of it and thinks... Well, maybe I should block somebody on the second level, right? He really needs to be do, doing some sort of seal here, if I'm guessing, either on the five or or on um, getting out on one of these backers. But but he's he's lost. You see him just kind of turn around and he's aimless in a way. At the very least, he should turn and try to get somebody, you know. But but to be fair to him, this is his first snap against Minnesota. This is the first play of the game. Uh, maybe the counter argument is he should have a plan <laughs> if it's the first play. Um, this play is actually really impressive. Here he is in pass protection, one on one against this three tech, and the Vikings are no joke. So he he got thrown in a little bit. Um, what I want you to notice about this pass set are his arms. Notice how low his arms he are here. This tackle is going to get into his chest. He's going to bull rush him. What Illuminor does so well here, instead of shooting his arms out into the chest of this blitzer, he comes up, directly up and under, and he gets the inside leverage. He gets both hands inside this tackle, right under his armpits, right? Uh, double underhooks. And this, so that's, this is textbook here. Watch this. Does exactly what he's supposed to do. And then he's able to set. He, he's got this guy. Once he gets his arms in there, man, that's what you want. That guy's not going to go anywhere. That was impressive. The very next play, not as much. Um, he's going to give up a sack here. Uh, you can kind of see it from the aerial view, I guess. I haven't really looked at that part of it, but let's check it out. This is him. He's desperately frightened about getting beat inside. He steps in. The rush comes outside. He's going to lunge a little bit. As he lunges, uh, the tackle is going to rip down. And then he's by him. He gets by him in a hurry. Right? So this is just a guy who's just... He's going to get exploited by a, a, a more experienced rusher here. And it's not an enviable task. Right? This one-on-one... -on -one Thing. But you see him step there. He oversteps a little bit, and his feet get a little goofy. Watch. Okay. Everybody else has a staggered step here, right? Not him. His feet are parallel, and he's in a little bit of trouble right there. His feet have stopped, right? Now he's got this wide face, but he's leaning. And he's, he's facing somebody who's experienced, right? Far more experienced than he. And he just rips him. He'll learn. Uh, okay. Um, I like this play quite a little bit. That, all those were first quarter plays. This is in the fourth. Watch it. Here he is one-on-one one, one on one again. 
in pass protection. This is really nice stuff. Watch his feet. Watch his feet here. Okay, he, he's going he's gonna to be worried about being beaten inside again. But watch how much cleaner his feet are. Kick, slide. Kick, slide. And he gets in front of the man. Look at that. That impresses me right there. And as he gets in front of him, he locks him up. He's got his hands inside this guy. One-on-one, -on -one, no help from any center or tackle. Nothing. So he definitely had his work cut out for him. I, I can't help but be impressed by this set. Again, that guy's going nowhere. I'm impressed by his feet here. Watch his feet. It's a good kick slide. Getting on the hip of this guy and doing a good job of keeping himself in between uh, the quarterback and this uh, rusher. Eventually, he just heads him off. And that's because of his feet, because he's getting on his hip there. And he works inside with his hands. Yeah, I'm impressed by that. Um, moving on to the Bears here a little bit. This is another example of him not having a clue in the run game. I'm, I'm worried about him in the run game. You know, he's, it, it shows up, his rawness, despite his strength, shows up in the run game a, a fair amount. Um, here's a stretch zone play, outside zone. He's probably meant to be on this, this uh, nose here. Probably. The nose does a good job of, of getting out. He does. It makes that job hard. But he certainly is meant, if not to do both, to get on this inside backer. Watch how easy the backer sheds him. Just puts two hands into his chest and he just blows him right by him. So he, he looks uncomfortable. I noticed this in a couple others. I don't have the tape of them. A couple other uh, outside zone runs. You just look at him. Just overrun that. I, again, this is just, perhaps this is just football experience or lack of. Um, bears again. What do we got here? Oh, not good. All right, you see right here, this is going to be another sack of Flacco. This is Leonard Floyd coming at him. He doesn't know what to do here. He does not know what to do. You see him kind of curl into a ball a little bit. He's trying to get his hands inside him and wait for Floyd to do something. Floyd scrapes there. I think he probably should have engaged him with his arms there. Probably should have sent, should have punched a little bit there. If, if nothing else, just to slow Floyd down. But it gets a little worse, right? He, he kind of runs after him. Now that, that Floyd is picked up by uh, Buck Allen, the running back. And, and there's, he kind of wanders again. But you can just see he's just raw. It'd be like if I was out there running around. But not as bad, of course. And the, the linebacker does a really heady thing there. Of course, he sees the back, sees that this, this uh, tackle or this guard doesn't have a clue. And he makes a sack on Flacco. Now, the other thing is, I, I don't see him as particularly, he lumbers, you know, the, and, and I wonder about it, <clears throat> his athleticism, his speed, I don't know. I haven't read on that. It doesn't look to be that uh, impressive to me. He looks a little stiff in space. Um, this is a good play. This, he's extremely strong. Watch his punch here. He's, at, again, at right guard. Watch him. This time he is going to shoot both arms out and he's in combo with the center he's gonna pop this guy so you're getting an aerial shot of it here look at that look at that jolt man now the other thing there's more to this play now he's got this is later in the game i like that he's kind of fine-tuning things as the game goes on bam pops that dude and he picks up this uh this uh linebacker that's a nice play right he's conscious of what's going on outside of the guy he's on watch him from this angle same play He's going to reach over to help out, but he's just not going to help. Why? He's going to get both arms extended on this guy. He didn't even really get his hips into this thing. He just sends that guy flying. Love that. And he's got his head, even before this, if we can back it up just a little bit, watch. He's shoving this guy. Look where his head is. I like that. That's awareness. So you've seen a little bit of him, you know, good stuff, bad stuff. The good news for him and for the Ravens is the Ravens have a pretty good right guard in Marshall Yonda, you know, and um, he needs to hang out with him. I don't know. I can't say um, there's some good stuff here, definitely. I, I was more impressed by his 
technique in pass protection than I thought I was going to be. Um, assignment wise, he's poor. Run blocking, he, you know, not so not so much. Um, but he was up against two tough teams, and he's a, he was a rookie, a very raw rookie. So I would not um, give up on this guy just yet by a long shot.